Hello everyone, today we have a short video about a PCIe SATA card. As a refresher, PCIe means Peripheral Component Interconnect Express. Some older motherboards have PCI slots, while most newer motherboards have faster PCIe slots. SATA, aka Serial ATA, is Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, which is the connection that most hard drives have used since year 2000. Here recently, M2 drives, which do not use a SATA connection, have started to become popular because they're much faster and smaller. You can learn about hard drives in my hard drive video if you check out the link below. Some of you may be familiar with my Linux computer build, which is sitting right here. Uh, if you're not, check out the other link below. This here will be added to that computer. This machine has been my sandbox computer where I tinker and learn new things on the Linux operating system. I am preparing to turn this computer into a server computer combo, if you will, which basically means that I'm going to use this computer to back up all of my other computers, but also I'm still going to use it as a regular computer and learn uh, more about the Linux operating system. The reason why I'm installing a PCIe SATA card in the computer is that my motherboard actually only has four SATA ports on it. Uh, one is used by an optical disk drive, another is used for the Linux operating system, and then I have two more for additional storage. I actually want more hard drives in, for additional storage for backing up all of my other computers and to be able to maximize the uh, backup storage capacity. This install is actually really quick and easy, typically less than a minute to install this card. Uh, the, installing the hard drives is actually the more time consuming part. In the video seen here, I am installing the PCIe SATA card and one hard disk drive. I will continue the rest of my installation outside of the video, meaning that I'll take care of all the other hard drives later on. and. I'll start cleaning up some of the wires later as well because you can see the cables are kind of a mess. All that is left to install is the driver software which is provided on this CD that came with the PCIe card. Some things to take note of, prior to purchasing one of these PCIe cards, be sure to verify that your power supply unit has enough power to run additional hard drives. Also ensure that your power supply also has enough power cables to provide additional power to each of the hard drives. Ensure that you also have some air movement in your tower. As seen in my video, I left a little bit of gap between each of my PCIe cards to ensure that none of them overheat. Plus, I have multiple 120 millimeter fans to help keep the computer cool. Lastly, ensure that the card is compatible with your operating system. Mine is compatible with Windows 10, Linux, and Mac operating systems. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out all of my other videos. And as always, thank you for watching. So for those of you that are sticking around to watch this last little bit here about the install, I'm going to just go over a little bit more in detail of what I did. So these are all where my PCIe and PCI slots are. The top ones here are PCIe. The bottom ones are PCI, so they're a little bit slower than the top ones. Uh, I chose to put this in the top because I need the speed for all the drives. Now, as far as speed, the bottleneck is gonna be my SATA cables and the spinning drives. Now, when I do solid state drives, the bottleneck is just gonna be this SATA cable. So as mentioned earlier, I had to make sure that I have enough power for the uh, drives, so that way I know that they're powered. I have to make sure that I've got enough power to power the whole computer without any issues and kernel issues shutting down. And the other thing is, is that I suggested keeping your computer cool. So I've got a network card here, I've got a graphics card, and I've got a SATA card all plugged into my PCIe slots. As you notice, I've got some space in between them simply to help keep uh, everything pretty cool. I've got a fan up here, fan here, fan here, and I got a fan up front as well. Uh, on the front side of my computer. So definitely want to keep the proper air movement so that way nothing overheats and causes any future damage. But it's a pretty quick and easy install as you saw. Now I just have to put the hard drive in the hard drive bay and get it screwed in and get it taken care of. But that's uh, it's pretty quick and easy, pretty simple process. Again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, 
definitely leave them below. I'm happy to have a conversation with you. Thank you.